So if you watched my last video, you saw me make jasmine rice. Well, who in the world wants to really eat just plain rice, right? So we are going to do a garlic shrimp stir fry, just a, a quickie. I mean, this is just gonna be real fast. So we bought this shrimp. This is a $5 bag of shrimp from Walmart. And I'm just doing a, a single serving so that, well, I want lunch. So, and this is pretty yummy. So a single serving, depending on, you know, how much you really love shrimp and how much you're in the mood for, it's usually gonna be six or seven pieces of shrimp. Now I always get the raw, peeled, deveined, and tail off. Looks like they did pretty good getting all that stuff off of there. Okay. Now I don't personally like frying up just frozen shrimp. So we're gonna add a little water. And we're gonna let it sit a little bit because that'll help kind of soften it up a little bit. Now while that's sitting, So while that's sitting in the water and defrosting, just use some cold water. You don't want to start cooking your shrimp too soon. So we're going to start a bar garlic butter. Garlic butter and parsley. I really like parsley. It helps cut down on the salt. So we're going to have... I use smart butter. I like to buy the pre minced garlic just because it's easier for me my hands get hurting pretty good so far i've got seven pieces of shrimp soaking in cold water to help defrost them because who in the world has fresh shrimp around at all times in their kitchen so i keep it i get the frozen because i don't go through it all that much now i'm going to use about a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic yeah i want a little bit more today I really like garlic. Now when you add the parsley, it's going to require a little more butter than you would probably use for just a plain garlic. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Just a few little twists because this is going to be for a, a single serving. We are going to do approximately one and a half tablespoons of butter, but mine is smart butter, so, which is a little different. If you're using real butter, you may want to add just a touch more, just because of the fats in it. It, uh, yeah, that's about two tablespoons of smart butter. <clears throat> then we reach for our wooden spoon again, because we don't want to mess up any of our pans. And this is a no stick pan, so. We're going to do it over a medium heat and just warm it up. We're just trying to get it warm so that the garlic and the parsley and the pepper can kind of get into that butter. Okay, our butter's melted down. The butter's melted, so now we just let it kind of just warm up a little bit. While we were melting our butter, our shrimp went ahead and finished defrosting. I 
I personally rinse my shrimp off one more time just for good measure. Not going to hurt anything. So our garlic parsley butter has got a nice little heat going to it, which is nice. That's kind of what we want. It'll help get those flavors into that butter. Mm. So my, <clears throat> my rice is still pretty warm because I just made it just a, a little bit ago. Okay, so I can see that a couple little pieces of garlic's got a golden brown color to it. So it's time to add the shrimp and the rice. <clears throat> so we're going to just lay our shrimp in there. Does not take long to cook shrimp. A couple minutes and you're done. You see how it was gray, kind of a grayish white. Now we've got a little more white. Let's flip it over. We want to make sure that that garlic and parsley is well coated on that shrimp. Make sure we got all the flavors in there. And hopefully you can see it. There's this little bit of like a peach color coming through, which means it's almost cooked. Let's flip them one more time. Well, might flip them a couple more times. Alrighty. So we've still got a good little bit of butter sitting there. The shrimp is just about finished. If we let it cook too much more, it's going to get hard. And we don't want it hard, but we don't want it mush because mush means it's not cooked. So we're going to add about a half to about three quarters of a cup of rice. Now, if you're taking it, the rice from the fridge, it's not a big deal because it's going to heat up in this process. Now we went from a bit of the butter just kind of sitting in the pan to it's trying to stick a little bit. So it's your call if you want to add a little more butter at this point. I'm going to because I don't care about a couple extra calories. So. If you're really calorie conscious, you might consider um, taking this off the heat and putting a lid on this pan and just let it sit for a few minutes, like two, maybe two minutes. Now you could, I could have put some onion in this and it would have been pretty good. I, I like onion in my shrimp stir fry. But this one was just going to be a garlic and parsley stir fry with rice. Thanks for watching. So our garlic, shrimp, parsley, rice stir fry is complete. And we are ready to eat. So we're going to see just how great these freaking shrimp are. Oh, these shrimp are. Oh, knife goes through it nice and easy. Our rice is nice and soft. Mm. Mm. Just a touch more salt for me and that is lunch. 
Mm -hmm. Fork slips right through that shrimp like it's nothing. And that's what you're looking for. A little bit of that peach color in the white. And your shrimp can't get much better than that. Have a great lunch. Thanks.